Hello and welcome to another employability session. This is for your employability level one certificate and today we'll be focusing on unit 34, which is job search skills. Please remember to sign the register so we know that you have attended this session and we are going to be adhering to the health and safety safeguarding, preventing British values, equality and diversity guidelines. If you do have any safeguarding concerns, please contact Best Choice Training's lead safeguarders, which is Marie Spence and Tracy Turner. We adhere to equality and diversity, having a whole range of students on this course and health and safety. You'll be having regular breaks throughout this session. The aims of today's session is to know how to develop a personal career plan and to know how to assess your individual skills against potential opportunities. To be able to complete evidence required to complete Unit 34. Criteria that you'll be going to meet today is 2.1, describe the purpose of a career plan and detail the types of information that it needs to contain. 2.2, create a career plan for yourself following appropriate conventions um, regarding contents and layout. 3.1, create and present an appraisal of the job and all training prospects available for you and your readiness to take the advantage of any opportunities available. This appraisal will address your achievements and work experience to date and any further study or learning needed. Unit 34 is about job search skills and this is part two from your previous session. So what is a career plan? So a career plan is a tool you can use to ensure that you are on the right track to achieve the career you most desire. You can identify any training or experience requirements to work towards your goal and ensure you achieve the career goal that you want. What is a career plan all about? So here are some steps to help you get started with a career plan and what to think about. Step one is self-evaluation. Think about what you really like, need and want to do within a job role. Step two, skills analysis. Ask yourself, what work are you best suited to do now? Step three, set your direction. Think about what industries or roles you can see yourself in. Step four, commit to a time frame. Now you know where you want to go, make sure you can get there. And step five is to review your career plan. Always look back and review your career plan. So what does a career plan look like? So here are some examples. So career planning essentials. So look for your current job, gaps and skills, future aspirations, opportunities for growth and evaluation. Here is an example of a career plan here. As you can see, it's the profile for this particular person. Put their name, your families and or your community. Three positive words that describe you. This could also help with your interview as well your proudest achievements, the two people who are most important to you, and your top three interests. Again, here are some other examples of what career plans look like. So as you can see here, this person has looked at their short-term goals, mid-term goals and their long-term goals. They've also looked at their current competencies, skills, knowledge and experiences and where they need to develop their skills required for the current job that they're looking for. They've created an action plan and they've also listed on the side there to remember who they are, what education they've got, what previous employment have they got and personal preferences. Again you can see another one here that shows short-term, long-term and mid-term goals and how they're going to achieve this. Activity. So what I want you to do now is in with your pairs, you need to complete a task on flip chart paper to present to the group and you need to describe what a career plan is, what types of information need to be on it, and draw a career plan template of what you expect it to look like. Resource one is available to use during this activity. So for this activity, the flip chart career plan presentation, your assessor will observe you on your presentation for you to meet the following criteria for unit 34. 
This is for 2.1. Describe the purpose of a career plan and detail the types of information it needs to contain. Your next activity is create and complete a career plan. You need to create a career, a career plan of your own. So make a template yourself using Microsoft Word. Ensure it includes all of the relevant content and appropriate layout for your career plan and fill it out based on your individual career aspirations. So this is all about yourself, this activity and your career aspirations. Let me move on now to appraisal. So a performance appraisal, also referred to as performance review, performance evaluation and development discussion or employee appraisal is a method by which the job performance of an employee is documented and evaluated. So what are these appraisals about? Here are some steps to help you get started with an appraisal and what to think about. So step one is about what do you consider your best achievements this year? Step two, how would you rate your performance? This could be out of five, out of 10. Step three, what objectives would you set yourself? So moving forward, what objectives would you like to pursue this year? So step four, might be difficult sometimes, but please don't compare yourself and your performance to another employee. Everybody is different and works at their own pace. And step five, do inform on your appraisal of training and career objectives. So these are what some appraisal forms might look like. And here are some other examples as well for you to look at. As you can see there, they've got different ratings. So you might have exceed standards, achieve standards and below standards, or they might have five for exceptional, four for the exceeds expectations, three meets expectations, two needs improvement, and one is unfortunately unacceptable. You'll be able to be able to play this video in your own time and you'll be receiving links for this. Your next activity is another flip chart appraisal. So within your pairs, you need to complete this task on a flip chart paper to present to the group. You will need to describe what an appraisal is, what information needs to be on it, what is the benefit of an appraisal, and how can you help it develop your skills? So you will be able to have resource two for this activity. So what we need to do next is prove present what you have written down on your flip chart to explain your understanding of what an appraisal is. Next, you need to create an appraisal of your own. So make a template yourself using Microsoft Word and ensure it includes all of the relevant content and appropriate layout for the appraisal. What you need to do then is fill it out based on your individual career aspirations. So this appraisal needs to be about your job role or training prospects to advise of any opportunities that you can take advantage of, your achievements so far, your experience to date, so up to now, what is your experience so far, any further study or learning that's needed, and you need to identify your strengths and weaknesses. Well done for completing those activities and presenting them to um, your assessor and your group. So what we're going to do now is take a moment to reflect on what we have learned so far. Did you understand what an appraisal was? Have you managed to identify your strengths and weaknesses? Take a moment to write down everything that you've learned so far and I look forward to seeing you in the next session.